Hello everyone, uh, welcome back uh, to IMSC A84 uh, integer programming and combinatorial optimization class. Uh, today we're going to show you how to using uh, Garobis and Python to solve a simple uh, mixed integer programming problem. Okay, here's a <coughs> simple problem we have right here on screen. And we have x plus y plus 2z as we want to maximize this objective function subject to two constraints. The first constraint is x plus 2y plus 3z less than or equal to 4 and x plus y is greater than or equal to 1. So here is a, a more <coughs> formatted uh, mathematical program we have. So today we, what we're going to do is to show you how to uh, follow the step. Uh, first, load the Groby library, then create a model, um, find, and defining uh, decision variable, set up the objective function uh, function, and add constraints, and finally uh, optimize the, mo uh, the model and print out the result. Let's go with a quick and short sim uh, simple uh, model we have. First, we're going to uh, <coughs> import the, uh, the Groby Pi uh, API. Okay, we're going to import Groby Pi as GP. Okay, and then we're going to from <coughs> Groby Pi. Import GRB. GRB is a, a <coughs> whole bunch of definitions and class that that Groby use. So I'm going to execute. Okay. Okay, if you encounter this type of uh, <coughs> problem, and this you can install Groby Pi in your uh, case, we already have the how to install the Groby Pi uh, in your system. So after you install the, the API, you will not get the <coughs> error message. Okay, so once the uh, library got import now we're going to create a model we're using a model m to represent the model is ruby pi um, model function and we're going to call it uh, mip for example one what we have <coughs> sorry okay so create a model and it will tell you what is your uh, academia license as non-commercial use only? When is the expiration time? So it's basically check your license and to on the first one. Second, we're going to defining the variable we have right here. Here we have X and Y and Z. Uh, we have three variable. So we're going to define X first. It's from the model called add variable. Okay, and <clears throat> the type of variable is equals to g uh, r b dot a binary. Okay, it's binary variables, and we can call it a name equals to x, for example. All right, so this is first one. So I'm going to copy twice. <coughs> y and Z. Okay. So defining three <coughs> variable that way. 
we can uh, actually propagate the definition, uh, we call it a uh, variable generator, in a different, uh, more efficient way. But since we only have three variables right here, <clears throat> I'll just show you the most rudimentary way to create a variable. So a variable is defined. Now we need to set up, uh, define the, our objective function. So M is the handler of this model called MIP1. So using small m dot is the subclasses he has. So <coughs> set objective equals to x plus y plus <coughs> 2 times z is my objective, okay? And <coughs> maximize. <coughs> so if you enter the shift key and enter, shift, enter key, okay, it will actually execute it and move on to the next cell. <clears throat> the third cell we're going to start doing is adding constraint. Since my model has <clears throat> two constraints, x plus 2y plus 3z less than or equal to 4, x plus y is greater than 1, so I'm going to fill in those right here. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to define two constraints. Okay, two constraints. The first constraint <coughs> is x plus 2 times y plus 3 times z is <coughs> less than or equals to 4. And we call this guy, uh, sorry, <coughs> call this guy, for example, constraint one. Next, I'm going to add the, the second constraint, and you add constraint is <coughs> x plus y is greater than or equals to 1, for example, and that's constraint 2. <coughs> the, this is just the name of the constraint we can recognize later on, so it's not really uh, necessary, it has to be consistent. So define the x and y, define the constraint, constraint added, okay? So here we have a so-called model update, so we add a constraint, now I'm going to update the model. So all the constraint, objective, and variables are <coughs> added into the model. Now, easily, once the problem is defined, it we just have to call m dot optimize. Okay, and the model is solved. <coughs> and the model solved for uh, here it says. Uh, <coughs> Best objective function is three, okay, and found optimal solution found already, and solution count two, and we can uh, <coughs> actually easily solve that. But now we, this is less readable form. We can set up something easier to understand based on our own format. First, we're going to print all the variables and and then the uh, objective function. So we're going to have a for loop, okay? So for loop from uh, <coughs> i in m is the my model, get our variables, <coughs> okay? 
then prone. I'm going to prone either uh, print two things, print a variable name and then a variable <coughs> value. <coughs> okay, based on the Python. So first is the variable name. I'm using I correct. Variable name and a variable value. <coughs> okay, variable value. That's all there's to it. And then we're going to print the objective function value. Optimal objective function value in the sense we can objective function value. So you can see <coughs> right now I can uh, x equal to 1, y equal to 0, z equal to 1, objective function value is equal to 3. And we can also see the <coughs> the M model itself is a Gorobi model, MIP model uh, instance with uh, two constraints, three variable, no other parameter change. And I can also <coughs> check uh, the m dot x it should be the optimal solution in that case <coughs> so m the uh, obj value is the objective function Oop, did i m the obj value Sorry, this is uh, actually m the obj value should be equal to three. <coughs> so this finish uh, fairly soon. Uh, the easy model to build up. Okay, first imported uh, the Gorobi library. Second, create a new model and. You give it a name called MIP1, defining three variables, set up the objective function value, and then adding two constraint I have over here, and update, uh, meaning uh, I'm finishing defining the model using an update, then <coughs> solve the problem using m.optimize. M is the handler for our model, MIP1. So here we can <coughs> see that the solution process is find the optimal solution. We describe if there's no optimal solution or the infeasible <coughs> problem. And we uh, give you some of the exploration later on. And this exercise just um, trying to make sure you have uh, pop, uh, Groby API li uh, Python API library properly installed and you can run this as a small example and we will come up with a more sophisticated model and uh, example later on and especially the chapter one we'll talk about quite a few of a different model and we uh, are ready to exploit and we're going to conclude this lecture here. We see you in the uh, uh, next lecture for more complicated example.